Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to film my Pan Those Eyeshadows update for you. So this is the February update and I'm going to show you the progress that I made on my MAC Purple Times 9 palette which was the um, palette I chose to work on throughout January and the first part of February. And I'm so so excited because I did manage to hit pan on some shadows and I hit pan on four which I'm really really surprised by because I thought I would hit pan on two or three. So to hit pan on four is really great. And I'm not expecting to have progress like that every single month. I already had great use of this palette before putting it into this project. I've also been wearing purple eyeshadow literally almost every time I've worn makeup. So I feel like I deserve this as well <laughs> for literally having to wear purple eyeshadow like every day. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you what the palette's looking like now. And if you watched the intro video, then you'll know I didn't have pan on any of the eyeshadows, but I do now have pan on these three and this one here. And this one here, this is called Sweet Lust, and it is a luster eyeshadow from MAC. And if you know MAC eyeshadows and you'll know that lusters are quite easy to hit pan on because they've got like big chunks of glitter in them. So they're generally sort of looser in the pan. Whereas shadows like these ones are kind of harder because they're matte ones so they're hard pressed into the pan. But obviously there's not like tons and tons of pan showing. It's just a few like it's just little tiny circles which which I've obviously created by really burrowing down with my eyeshadow brush in one particular area. This isn't really like how I would generally use an eyeshadow palette because I wouldn't be like focusing in on one area trying to hit pan but nonetheless I do feel like I made some really great progress with that um, over the last month and it's just nice to get some use out of my other eyeshadows as well rather than just my Tartlet palette. So now I will show you the eyeshadows that I've chosen for my February update and um, I've gone for single eyeshadows this time instead of a palette just to mix it up and I've chosen five Makeup Geek single eyeshadows. So the first one I have here is Peach Smoothie and I already have significant pan on this eyeshadow. I really love this shade to throw on in the crease pretty much for any look. It works for colourful eyeshadows and neutral eyeshadows because it is that lovely just sort of warm transition shade so it's easy to use up and it's just a gorgeous shadow and again I'm not expecting to use this shadow up but I would like to see some more pan showing at the next update and then to sort of correspond with that one I've got this uh, peach sort of um, metallic shadow what does Makeup Geek call these? Foiled foiled eyeshadows. This one's in the spotlight and I have to say the foiled eyeshadows from Makeup Geek are my favourite formula of eyeshadow ever. Um, I've got so much use out of this one already. It makes a gorgeous blush topper as well as an eyeshadow so I, I'm actually looking to hit pan on this one by the next update. It might be a bit of a stretch but we'll give it a go. And then I have probably my most used foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and this one is Legend and it is the most stunning bronzy coppery shade which literally makes my eyes look bluer than ever so it's my favourite one and again I've used it tons before so I'm hoping to hit pan on this one and then I have Grandstand here which is another lovely foiled one from Makeup Geek and um, I thought this might be quite nice to work with some of the colours in my Tartlet palette actually. I'll be very surprised if I hit pan on this but again I'm just trying to get some more use out of my other eyeshadows in my collection. And then I picked one that I have barely used and it's Showtime again by Makeup Geek. And it's a beautiful sort of deep um, burgundy shade. The main reason I haven't used this one so much is obviously it doesn't work particularly well with the kind of cool toned purple shadows in my Tartlet palette 
and also it's really dark and if you know me then I don't really tend to wear dark eyeshadow. I am more recently because I'm trying to get a lot of use out of them obviously but I picked this one so that I have to force myself to be creative and get some use out of it but I obviously won't be hitting pan on this one. That's everything for this update, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then do give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see my progress on my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments and if I don't speak to you then, then I'll see you in my next video.